Hi guys, this is Lily with Ink Possible Things and Lisa from Crafty Nanty and I have teamed up to bring you some projects that you can do with the this awesome paper pack right here, which is from Simple Stories. It is the Simple Vintage Indigo Garden uh, Kit. Uh, so we are each creating projects from that kit and today I'm going to show you how to make uh, a mini pocket book from one of the sheets and this is a great little alternative to a birthday card because it's small enough to hold like gift cards and little sentiments um, and we've even created or you know I'll even show you how to make this little tag in here uh, and how to bind it and put it all together and then you can give it to someone. It doesn't have to be for a birthday, it could be for Mother's Day or, you know, even Christmas. Alright, this is what you're going to need to create this project. Um, I've got Spun Sugar Distress Oxide. Uh, I believe Crafty Nanty carries that in her booth. If not, I'm sure she can get it for you. Um, I've got about 14 inches of ribbon. We're going to need uh, the washi tape from the kit. Uh, Crafty Nanty also has that in her booth. And this is from the Vintage Indigo or Simple Vintage Indigo Garden kit. I've got a bone folder, pencil, ruler. Uh, I have a micron to write uh, our sentiments on or with. Uh, scissors. We are going to need a hole puncher for this one. I've got a corner rounder. And then I've got the tab maker punch. Um, and if you're interested in this one, I'll have one in my booth that you can purchase. Uh, and then of course you'll need this one, this page, which is called the beautiful heart page, uh, from the kit, as well as the sticker. We're going to use some stickers from there. And then the, the kit page that has all of the cut aparts, you can use whichever ones you want. Um, from there uh, and uh, that's it so let's get started the first uh, thing we're going to use is the sheet of paper and I've gone ahead and cut off the top but uh, don't throw that away because this makes a great little washi tape uh, or for borders or things like that so you want to keep that I'm going to set it aside and then I'm going to take my bone folder and I know I've got a, a score pal which is wonderful, but you don't have to have one. You can just do this with the ruler and a and a bone folder. But this just makes it so much easier uh, for me. So we're going to score at six inches right at the half. And then we're going to go from the left and we're going to score two inches here. And then 10 inches over here. So two inches in from this side, two inches in from this side and right at six inches. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to twist our paper and we are going to score at three inches and then at six inches again and at nine inches. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. All right, so this is our sheet right now. I don't know if you can see the score marks. They're all across there. Uh, we want to fold in and actually I want this to be the outside. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to fold this in and flatten it very carefully. I'm going to flatten it with my bone folder. And then I'm going to fold in this side. So what I'm folding is the two inch side or the side where we scored two inches in from the left and the right. And that is what I'm folding right there. OK, at this point, you can glue the top here, top here, top here and top here. And I think that's what I'm going to do, because these are going to become your pockets. Next, 
we are going to cut with our scissors right up to where our square starts up here. So we're not going to cut all the way. Um, do you see where that fold is or that score line is? I don't know if you can see that there. Um, but we're going to cut right up the center to there. So I'm going to take this on this side and actually I'm going to mark it because it's kind of hard to see where my line is. So I'm going to go, I'm going to mark this here so I can see where it's at. There we go, right there. So I'm going to take, you can do it with scissors, uh, but I'm going to take my knife and a ruler and I'm going to line this up. And again, it's kind of hard to see where I'm cutting, so I'm going to kind of fold this a little bit. Right there. I'm just going to slice down. So you just want to cut the center up to that point right here. This is what's going to hold our book together. Okay, I'm going to erase here. And then we are going to fold this out and crease our score mark that we made over here. Right there. Okay, so I've got it folded out with the pockets on the outside. Next, now the folded part is up at the top, so I'm going to start by folding from the bottom up. So I'm going to fold here, and then I'm going to crease. And you kind of have to hold this straight, and then crease out, just like that. And then I'm going to fold under on the score, and I'm going to crease here, right here, and then I'm going to fold over here. I'm going to crease again, okay, there we go. I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to do it again on this side. So I'm going to start with this, I'm going to fold over. Hold it down. Fold under. Fold over. And now you can open it like this. And you'll have the center there and then there's your little book so that's the first part of this the next thing we need to figure out is how we're going to hole punch this um, and where the holes are going to be so when you hole punch you want to make sure you punch in far enough on the inside so that when you punch the hole, it's not so close to the edge that, you know, the ribbon tears apart. So I'm going to take my hole punch here, or my ruler, and I'm going to put it up alongside here. I'm going to measure here, and I want to punch a hole somewhere around the one inch, the two inch, and the three inch. So I'm punching three holes here. And I'm in, oh, about quarter of an inch in from the edge. So grab your hole punch. This is what we're gonna do. You're gonna go in far enough and just punch. There's one, two, There. So now what I want to do is the way this folds over, I am just going to draw my circles 
used my cut circles already, my punch circles as a template. I'm going to draw them in there and then I'm going to punch these. And you're just going to keep doing that. All the way till you get to the end. Now that I've punched holes, I can fold this over again. And you'll see that all my uh, little holes are, are there now. And we can, before we add the ribbon here, uh, we need to decide. You can go ahead and leave this open like this and it'll be fine once it's tied in, but I like to create a pocket right in the center. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a bead of glue to the bottom here and glue it down. You don't necessarily have to add one over here. I mean, you can if you want to, but I didn't think that was completely necessary. So I'm just gonna add a bead of glue all the way across the bottom here. And we're gonna make a tag for this pocket here. Let me. So now when it opens, you've got a pocket in there. This is about 14 inches of ribbon that I got somewhere and I'm just going to uh, cut a little corner here. But you don't have to use ribbon. You can also use those ring binders and just put them in here. You can use a shoelace, you can use some uh, jute, anything really. Um, wow, this is looking really cute. I really like this. Okay, all right. Here's how you do this with ribbon. You're gonna take the first, the end of the first or one side and you're gonna put it through the bottom hole and then you're gonna take the other side, the other end, and you're gonna put it to the top hole and then you're gonna pull, okay? And then you are going to take one end and you're gonna put it right through the center Take the other end and put it right through the center again. So both of these are going to go through the center. Now at this point right here, you can pull, but you want to make sure that you leave enough play in there so that your book opens and it opens nicely. And once you have it where you want it, you don't want it to pull, okay, you're going to take one side of the ribbon on one side of the center and then one ribbon on the other side so that this is in the middle and then just tie a bow or a knot or whatever you feel like tying. I think I'm just gonna tie it this way and leave it like this. This is kind of cute here. Okay, so make sure it opens enough. Okay. All right, uh, so that's our little booklet. Next, we are going to decorate the cover a little bit. Maybe add a little piece of lace here because you see how uneven that is. I'll show you what to do here. Okay, the next step now is we're gonna make the front cover and we can actually undo this to make it easier for us. I'm just gonna pull the ribbon out a little bit here, just so we can lay it flat here. There we go. In my stash of papers, I have a little bit of tea stain paper. You can use whatever you have in yours. Uh, and then we're gonna layer that with some washi, some washi tape from the collection. Oh, aren't these gorgeous? These are so beautiful. I really like the butterflies, so I think we're gonna add the butterflies over here on the side, and then we're gonna put this on the top here. Find a little sticker to put on there. We're gonna put this here, and then I took from the top of this paper, uh, this is the uh, journal elements um, top, 
And so I took that, I cut that off, and we're probably gonna use this little label here, and I'm gonna write something on there. Uh, so we'll see how it works out. Um, but let's start with this. I'm gonna take this, and then I'm gonna take the sugar, or sponge sugar, Distress Oxide Ink. Again, you can get this in uh, Lisa's shop, Crafty Nanty at Timeless Treasure in Metamora. just going to write for you. how to make a little slide out tag that you can use to write happy birthday or happy mother's day or stuff like that on and i'm using this one from the kit but if you'll notice it's a little too tall it doesn't quite fit in there uh, i need to measure how big my card needs to be so it needs to be somewhere about just under three and a half inches uh, with the way i applied the glue and stuff so i'm going to take this and I know that I can cut from the top because there's not a whole lot of, you know, stuff that I need to keep from there. So I'm just going to make a mark about three and a half and one inch. Now I'm going to go just a little bit under three and a half. Okay, so this is what I ended up with. Let's see if it'll slide in there. Oh yeah, it slides in perfectly. In fact, it's a little bit too wide, so I'm going to trim... Uh, just a little bit off each side, trying not to trim this white part, but getting closer to it. All right, I've trimmed off just a little bit on each side. And now when we stick this in, yep, it can go all the way in there. So we're going to make a tag. And I have just a little green sheet of paper uh, that I kind of like. I like the color, so I'm going to keep that. But you can also use another one of the tags and just use the back of that. And it'll still leave you, you know, some space to write in or an area to write your sentiments in. Uh, let's see. I want this to be about that big. Or you can use um, white cardstock too. All right. Got that. Okay, um, the other thing that I want to do is I want to create a little tab like this, this part here. And I have this really cool tab punch uh, that I can use. I'm going to show you a different way to use it. You can use it, you can actually get a little piece of paper like this, fold it in half, and then you're going to slide it into the tab, the punch, but put it so that when you position it, you don't punch the top of that. You slide it down just enough, punch, and so you end up with something like this. And it's already um, folded over and stuff. Uh, you could do that. You could position it there and glue it down, or you could glue it down on the inside, position this like this, and then sew around it like that, whichever way you like. Uh, the other way to use this tab punch is like this. I'm gonna find uh, some scrap piece of paper here. 
Okay, let's say I wanted to make the tabs in this color. So instead of folding it over, I am just going to punch two of these. There we go. So now I have two, and that's okay. Uh, and that'll work well too if you want to glue them like this. And you just glue them together. Okay, right now I think I'm really liking this because it just kind of coordinates with everything. So I'm going to glue this down to this. Where's my glue? There's my glue. The cardstock backing too makes this card a little bit sturdier as well. So you want to pick a paper that is sturdy for the back. I'm going to take this. Down. Take your bone folder, spread the glue out a little bit on the inside. Got that. Okay, now I'm going to trim this off a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to go around it. This is not going to show up as much on this side. I'm going to go around and actually I'm going to corner punch this on all the corners. You can also use a darker shade of ink to go around, you know, the all of these little things. Okay, so I've got this and this is going to go here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply glue to one side. All of the one side. And only half of the other side. Or just the bottom part. Take my card. Position this where I want it and glue it down. There we go. So now this can slide in and out of there. There we go. Now, I do like to sew things. I recently discovered that you can sew paper. I'm kind of behind in that scene, but I'm going to put a little edge around here just to add uh, more dimension and just more interest to that. Okay, so this is what my sewed, sewn card looks like. Um, I just really like the way that looks, but you definitely don't have to do that. You can just finish it off with the tab and slide it in and you are good there. Uh, now you can cut apart some of these other things, uh, some of the other little things included in there uh, in the kit and then just stick them in here. Or you can take just cardstock and add some washi tape um, and stick I love you notes or I'm grateful for you and really let the person that you made this for uh, know how you feel about them. But this little card is fantastic for sticking those kinds of sentiments in as well as uh, gift cards like that. So such a neat little thing to give away. I hope you like this project and I'll see you soon.